I'm afraid I can't do that. These drums are full and sealed. Why waste the liquor on them? Okay, here goes. It's impossible to budge these drums at all. I don't know what they contain, but whatever it is, it weighs a ton. become the best shots in the camp. So now you're saying this rat isn't a rat? No, I'm not. My name is Michael. Hello, Michael. So tell me, why do you want to throw rocks at those soldiers? We have to get revenge. We're big boys now. And that's what we gotta do. Those pigs shot our dad. We heard him screaming. He's hurt real bad. Mom said we'll never see him again. Damn pigs! My brother and I are gonna get them. All of them! But when they were dad's friends, you used to say you wanted to be a soldier when you grew up. Shut up! That was before. I wish I could reach those watchtowers with my rocks. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Something tells me that a little commotion along the barbed wire fence would be a good thing for everyone. It's pretty late for kids like you. What are you doing out in the street at this hour? Hey, we're not kids. We have to practice our marksmanship. Our mom gets real mad when we do it inside the house. It's not like we have anywhere else to go in this dump. Nowhere else to go? So you don't go to school? Don't you have any friends from school? There is no school. Not since the explosion. Our mom says we don't need it anyway. We're big boys now, and someday we'll be very important people in the camp. Just like our dad. That's why we don't hang out with the other kids around here. Our parents say they're rats. They'd be a bad influence on us. Yes, we're going to be brave and strong, like our dad. Right, Michael? Of course you will. I need your help, boys. How can we help you, Michael? I have to get something from inside your house. It's something I need so that I can help your father. Understand? But your mother is very agitated, and I need you to give me a hand with her. It's a mission. What do you want us to do, Michael? I need you to get your mother out of the house for a few minutes. Just long enough for me to go in and get what I need. Do you think you can do that? Of course, we're big boys. I'll owe you. I promise to give you a reward. Okay, let's do it. A mission. <laughs> Better not. I have no interest. Oh, my head! Uh, what the hell's going on? Oh, God! My head feels like it's gonna explode! Michael, please, help us! Help us! Please, remember Beechwood Oracle. Repent! It's the sun! Was it our fault? Did we do it? Yes! We did it! Enough! Uh, please! Enough! Please, Michael, help us! Only you can do it. Remember, Beechwood Oracle. Good God! What are these images? And that woman's voice? It's the same one that woke me up in the trailer. I'm trying! I'm trying to remember! And stop tormenting me! I hope Rod helps me find some answers. If not, I'll go mad. Absolutely mad. A 
pool of blood mixed with mud marks the spot where that man, the mole, was shot. It gives me the chills. They may be able to kill with impunity, but it's still the scene of a crime. Hello again. What can I get for you? I saw a bunch of barrels stacked up at the entrance of the building. Just out of curiosity, what's in them? Nothing. Just some things that need to be stored. Take my advice, pal. Keep your nose out of the hunter's business if you want to keep it on your face. Okay, it was just curiosity. I could use some food. You're in luck. We have some of these emergency food rations the authorities distributed among the inhabitants of the camp in the first weeks after the Great Wave. You know, a bunch of them just uh, happened to fall into our hands. What do you have to offer in exchange? I have this pack of cigarettes. Virginia tobacco. There's not much of this in the camp. That's a good start. But it's not enough. The pack's been open and several cigarettes are missing. I'd need something more. Hmm. Would a bottle of liquor do? Fantastic. I think that's a fair price. I'll take both of them. Here you go, pal. The food package is all yours. Enjoy it in good health. Hey, you guys. Hello again, pal. Have you come back to spend some time with Rose, or do you just enjoy wasting our time? Let me into the van. I just want to talk to Rose for a few minutes. Of course, it's none of our business what you want to do with her. But if you go into the van, you gotta pay the price. Got any money on you? No, I don't have any on me. Then come back when you do and quit bothering us. We have a very busy schedule, you know? The girl said something about a secret involving me. Something from before the Great Wave. It seemed important. But what is it? Maybe it was a product of her madness. But I need to talk to her inside that van to get some answers. I'll come back with the money. Now that sounds much better. I see that we're starting to speak the same language. I don't have anything more to discuss with you. Here, this is what I promised you. That's all the food you brought? This will barely feed us for two days. I'm sorry, it's very complicated getting more in the camp. I only wanted to show you that you can trust me, that I can help you. That's what all you rats in this trash heap say? But in the end, only thing you're interested in is taking advantage of my husband and me. I've held up my part of the bargain. Isn't that proof enough? Listen. Let me have that pass to get out of the camp, and I promise I'll come back with the morphine you need to ease your husband's suffering. Ah, okay. But you better hurry. Here. What's this? A bracelet? It's like an ID badge. Wear it and the soldiers will recognize you. It won't just get you out of the camp. It'll also help you avoid all kinds of problems with the army once you reach the city. I'm not sure I'm doing the right thing by giving it to you. Just don't betray me, you rat. Bring me that morphine from my husband, and I promise you, I'll give you lots of money in return. Much more money than you could earn in a lifetime in this shithole. No, that's not necessary. We never said anything about money. I have to know you're coming back. I don't trust any of you, and I know that money is the only thing that'll make you keep your word. All you camp rats are alike. Now get out of my sight, and don't make me regret this. And don't come back without my husband's morphine. There'll be a fat wad of cash waiting for you. Okay. Go through that gate, and I'll blow your head off with one shot, rat. Hmm. Do you need to get a closer look at what I have on my wrist? Wait a minute. 
Look, he's got on one of those ID bracelets the camp moles wear. Those cockroaches are very useful to us in here. Lower your gun and let him leave. You heard him. Get out of here, rat. Oh, no. It's starting again. It's amazing. Everything's changing. Everything. Everything is mutating, and I haven't even moved. I don't understand. I don't understand anything. Thick bars at the end of the pipe block the opening to the outside. Extremely hard and solid, I'm afraid. Impossible. It's beyond my reach. The bars are keeping me from getting there. A few yards away, I can see a great mass of trash, mud, and plant matter that accumulated in there in the years since this water outlet was last cleaned. Ugh. Even from here, I can smell the stench coming from inside. Thick bars at the end of the extreme. In the distance, the other end of this tunnel fades out of sight among the shadows. Hmm, where does it lead? It looks like quite a large river flowed through it once, but nowadays, only this dry riverbed remains as a reminder. It's a charred remains of a tree trunk, fighting to keep from being devoured by the enormous hole in the ground. For the moment, it's holding its own. It seems firmly rooted in the soil. It looks like there are some chiseled stone structures sticking out of the water. What are they? The remains of columns, perhaps? And what are they doing sunk here in the middle of nowhere? Hmm, it seems like a small fragment of one of them is loose. I can't reach it from here. Maybe I should find a way to get to the bottom of this enormous hole first. I suppose the rain has been flooding the pit little by little. This water is so dark you can't even see the bottom. This hole in the ground is steep walls of mud and earth. The distance to the bottom is several yards. How the hell was this cesspit formed? So, I enter the city. It welcomes me with its most merciless and bitter grimace. What I see before my eyes is not what I expected. Doomsday made it here, too. Even if no one in the refugee camp knows it yet. Damn it. The city looks as bruised and battered by the catastrophe as the rest of us. <laughs>